Welcome back to the show, you guys. On today's episode, we're featuring Shane and his 600 wheel horsepower Subaru STI. Shane's car has a virtual garage in this new app called Fan Mods, which you guys should definitely check out. The main feature are these head-to-head -head battles, uh, which take place and are voted on it by the community, you guys, okay? So right now, there's a battle between Shane's STI and Ozzy's Evo with 650 wheel horsepower that we filmed. So definitely check out the Fan Mods app. The link is in the description for the battle. And if you have a garage in the app, you can see where you rank for bragging rights on the leaderboard, okay? You earn points that can then be used for discounts on aftermarket parts. Wait, hold up. Yes, <laughs> it's great. It's really cool. And I think it's something you guys would really like. And if you want to help support the show, download the app. It helps us uh, bring you guys more awesome content. All right, you guys, enjoy the video. Subaru I've ever been in in my entire life. Uh, Shane's car is pretty much fully built, 611 wheel horsepower, uh, stock transmission, which is amazing, frankly. Uh, the Subaru stuff is that that beefy. Clutch is nice and heavy. Everything about this car is so much beefier and meatier than like a stock STI. Like the shifter is really intense uh, and everything like that. Right now we're in low boost. Start off in <laughs> intelligent with that insane exhaust crack. We're gonna go straight into sport, uh, which should be less than 611 at the wheels or something like that. We have a Cobb access port over here. Let's go for a drive. I'm very excited. It's insanely hot out right now, at least from my Canadian uh, perspective, but. Sport sharp, traction off. Whoa, that's violent. <laughs> There's like a banshee scream when you hit 5,000 RPM and it just like escalates so quickly. Holy shit. All right. <laughs> oh my God, that is violent. That is a violent car. Much more planted uh, than Aussie's Evo, if I'm completely honest. Just feels much more stable. Now, I don't know if this car actually has um, a longer wheelbase, but it definitely feels like it, that's for sure. Here we go. Hold on. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, you you have to be <laughs> mentally, not physically, not only physically prepared, but mentally prepared uh, for that fourth gear pull, because it is a lot longer than the third gear pull and just as strong. <laughs> oh, it's so loud. <laughs> so with Shane's exhaust that he has on it right now, the way uh, that it made sense to me, at least when he described it to me, is that um, it's basically got uh, a quad exhaust right out the back, and one on each side are essentially straight piped, and then one on each side go through a muffler. So it's kind of like a weird mixture. Um, Shane, from what he told me, isn't like a... I think he wants to do some changes to the exhaust. Who knows? Uh, I think it sounds badass right now. It's 
crazy loud and it has all the right crackles and pops. I think that that is really, in terms of exhaust noise, what distinguishes this car from Ozzy's Evo that we drove recently. All right, second gear. Whoa! <laughs> if that doesn't get your heart racing, I don't know what would. Like, what a trip. What a trip. Welcome, you guys, to Southern California. We're here uh, up in the hills above beautiful Temecula, as you can see. It's like February, and it's 30 degrees Celsius out. This is insane. We got Sean and Shane both filming us right now. Go check out their channels in the description. But the main star of the show, Shane's simply badass STI. Uh, I drove it last year while I was down here in LA. And at that point, I think it was pushing around 500 to the wheels. This time, E85, uh, it's got a Garrett GTX series turbo. It's pushing 611 horsepower to all four wheels. Um, it's got an ACT six puck clutch, um, a bunch of boost, few custom mods and stuff, uh, like inline fuel filter there with a the bracket and everything. 99, I think all the work's done at Metro Performance actually, um, over in Murrieta, really great guys over there. Um, Danny built some insane stuff and I actually went for a ride in his car. But either way, this is, uh, this is Shane's car. It's a beast, you can flat foot shift, there's no way I'm gonna stand here and list off all the parts under the hood of this car. Um, so if you guys wanna check out more, Shane's car is actually in fan mods. All this stuff is loaded up in there. He's got a profile up there. There's a battle system and ranking system. So if you like Shane's car, and especially compared to the 650 wheel horsepower Evo we filmed, Ozzy's car, uh, you can go check it out there and basically vote on the car that you think is best uh, in kind of a comparison. And uh, if you see one of these cars like on the road or at a car show, what's really cool is they have their own separate QR code. So you go on your phone, scan it, the profile pops up. It's really great. Uh, Shane's car will be in there and um, the build list will be there as well. Pavement ends three fourths of a mile. Yeah, we're not gonna go that way. Although Subarus are traditionally awesome rally cars um, and good for doing that sort of thing, off-roading obviously, or at least like on a dirt road. Shane's car, that's not what it's set up for. You can see many videos on his channel, uh, racing on the freeway allegedly, which is always a good time. Now, a lot of people don't like uh, this generation SDI hatch. Um, I really, I don't, I don't really get it. I think these look great. Uh, now, is it my favorite generation of SDI? Well, no, I'm a blob-eye enthusiast, as one might say. Uh, if I was to get an SDI, it would definitely be a blob-eye. So the, uh, the hot side on the turbo is a little bit big for Shane's liking. Basically, from my understanding, when we were talking uh, down at Metro Performance earlier today, and you can check that out in our behind the scenes video of this shoot, um, he was saying that the hot side of the turbo is really kind of what's holding um, the power band back at this power level, right? So the boost takes a long ass time to come online um, and, you know, tightening up that turbo on the hot side will uh, absolutely help with turbo response. I mean, it kind of makes it exciting with the, the turbo spool the way it is. I can see why Shane wants to create a little bit more uh, like drivability for the street, but in all honesty, this is a, this is manic. This is like incredibly fast. Unpredictable every time you get into boost. Whoa! Like this is a scary car. I know it might seem a little bit like, you know, a lot of YouTubers like to play up reactions uh, on video for views. Um, and I try to give you guys just like an authentic perspective from driving a car that a lot of people don't normally get to drive unless you go out and build a car for yourself like this, uh, which is a big commitment. And then again, you get to see it through the stages most likely. Um, so it's not like a big shock when you get behind the wheel. Seriously frightening. Uh, and that is a good thing. So props to you, Shane. The steering's like incredibly light. It's really direct, you know, STI steering is really good, but very light steering. Honestly, I wish it was a little bit heavier. With that being said, it feels good. I like that sign we just passed. Twisty roads for the next six miles. That's welcome. We are in wine country. 
it's like it's out of this world. It feels like this has been dropped from like just a, it's a, not a normal car, okay? An STI is like a family sedan that's been like hopped up and has some rally pedigree and homologation pedigree, but this car, Shane's build is uh yeah, it's kind of it's kind of weird. It's not it's not human. Let's just say that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, of course, you can go subscribe to Shane's channel right there um, on his GoPro. Uh, help him reach uh, 50, well, he's probably already past 50,000. Uh, help him reach 60,000. Go hit up Sean on Instagram. He's been shooting with us a bunch of photography and video while we're here in LA. He's from Hollywood. Um, and yeah, hit us up on Instagram as well, at Worlds and Traveled and all that good stuff. Uh, by the time you watch this, we will be back in Canada. But if you are in the LA area and you have a vehicle you want us to film and feature or review, you have something for us, definitely hit us up. And next time we're in LA, hopefully in the summertime, um, we can come out and shoot. So thank you guys so much for watching.